for Nina Gulati, a passionate pursuit of an ancient form of artistic expression has become a way of life. Becoming a pioneer of classical Indian dance in New England was always part of the plan. Right, two, three, left, two, three, go back again. My mom tells me that I must be two and a half or so, and I saw a dance performance, and right then I insisted she buy me the ankle bells but I would still sleep with my bells under my pillow and dream about being a big dancer. Growing up in New Delhi, Gulati spent 15 years perfecting classical dance. Dreams quickly became reality for Gulati after she came to the United States on a college scholarship. While I was in college here, I did a lot of performances. I was invited to perform at the United Nations General Assembly Hall. I was thrilled to get the invitation. And hop, and hop, and. In 1971, Gulati founded the Treveni Dance Studio in hopes of introducing New England to her cultural roots. Started with five children, and now I must have taught at least 5,000. As you teach, you learn, and, and as you also watch each child struggling with all the steps. I mean, you realize that's what I went through, and now I'm watching these children do it. Through her years of dancing, Gulati has realized a trend sparked by a modernization within classical dance. When I started, the emphasis was always to stay with the very traditional. We've started using a lot of the modern uh, composers, just to make the teenagers feel that it's not static, we're moving on. Even at 70 years old, Gulati continues to develop her physical and spiritual relationship with the classical dance. Dance to me has been my haven, my salvation. This, this room here is my uh, temple and uh, so when I'm dancing, I'm really, literally, feeling I'm communicating with God. It's fine, okay? Even after decades of teaching, Gulati is still grateful for the admiration of her craft and how it is received throughout the community. It is such a beautiful art form. There is so much in it. The, um, the beautiful rhythm, the costumes, the uh, elaborate mime. Uh, you know, and uh, I don't think so. I think it will never die. Gulati and her dance troupe of a variety of ages are already underway, busy preparing for their newest performance, which is set to air in early April at the Boston University Dance Theater. Reporting from the Trevaney Dance Studios and for BUTV News, I'm Supriya Mapala.